hello welcome to this tutorial i'm maurice dimba and today i'm going to show you the correlation between tecla structures and sketchup these two products are from trimble and uh, when i say uh, the correlation between these two products and uh, by this i mean uh, that uh, you can do you you can export your tecla designed model into sketchup for further architectural design and this is where this is the point where the structure, the structures, the structural part, I go, are going to blend together with the architectural part. Now we'll get started here, and the model we want to export is the, the one you're seeing on the screen here. Let me just come to navigate and rotate this. Pick a point to rotate it about, and I can turn this round like this. So these points will will be exported into SketchUp and they, they will be seen as you see them here no any other part that will be no any part that no any part will be left will, will be left out all will be included in in, in SketchUp now let's go ahead and do that I'll come to file here I'll just click that radio button or that drop down arrow pointing and arrow pointing down and I'll be able to access all these options we have the new open savers printing export to model uh, export import here now we'll work with export here we'll click on export and we have a variety of options where in which you can export your file to if you're able to modify it into 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 a software that uses one of these formats now in this case we are going to use sketchup down here now i'll click on sketchup so the moment i click on sketchup i'll give it the I'll, uh, this uh, uh dialog box will come up uh, where it's written sketchup the tecla structure and sketchup export now we have the output file this is the output file and uh this is where you can define the location where you want to uh, track your file to now i'll click on this radio button here and you can give uh, your file a name you can just type a workshop here just type a workshop or a warehouse now i'll just click on that open then uh, i want i'll create from all i will not select anything i'll create from all here i just go ahead and create from all here and give it some time to process all the information and we'll be able to share this file with the architectural team so that they can input their architectural ideas and uh, bring them back to uh, tackle structures for further uh, structural modification so that the structure fits into the architectural uh, guys ideas and let's give it time to process or and to export all the parts okay you can see the export is now, com is now complete you can check on the dialog box here and the of structures and SketchUp export. Now, what we're going to do is just to close this now. And uh, I think with our model at the moment, we just need to close it so that we we don't consume so much resources from the system. So we have to close one. I'll just right uh, right click here and uh, come to uh, Task Manager here, and I want to close Tecla structures for now. I'll uh, close that. Then uh, I'll uh, activate the SketchUp. Now under SketchUp, I'll come to File. And first of all, we, we want to uh, check the path of, of, of our exported file. To do that, we'll come to uh, File here, to, to Folders here, and come to, come to PC here, and come to Tecla Structures Model, and come to the same same name to the name of this of, of the model which is uh, which was written peb and uh we'll just scroll down and come to peb here and open that and scroll down and check we have the workshop here 
So this is the path we'll follow when trying to import this file. Now we'll, we'll close that, then uh, come to file here under SketchUp and come to import and click import. Then uh, we change at yeah, this the uh, file format, SketchUp, and where do we find it? We'll find it under C. So we can scroll down and come to, we can scroll down and come to C here and come to Tecla Structures model and come to the same to the name of our model here and scroll down and come to PEB. This is the name of the, of the model we exported and open it. Then we'll come to the format of SketchUp. You can see it's quite big. It's two is two nineteen MBs. It's quite big and uh, just click on it and. Uh, We'll click import remember in sketchup there's a way you can compress this uh, file to come to almost half of this instead of 219 it can come to either 90 90 mbs or 100 mbs now i'll click import right there and uh, i'll just snap on the bottom there i'll give it some time to load everything Now, if you take a look on the screen, you can see a model is already in SketchUp. Our Tecla Structures model is now in SketchUp. So we have some uh, 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 styles here. We have wireframe, we have hidden lines, we have shaded, and we have shaded with textures. And that is the texture we have. And we have we have monochrome. Now, once that has been done. What I'll do, I'll just click select here and I'll press my mute button on the mouse or you can come here and use Obit. Let me just turn this around, you can see and, and have a look. Let me just zoom out so that you see what has been next, uh, imported into, into SketchUp. It is exactly the way it was in Tecla. With bolts in place so we'll move step by step to a point that uh, will take this to uh, a rendering software and will give and will give all these steel parts a, a, a typical color of steel and give an, 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 uh, an environment and give a, a construction environment of this structure we just come out of this and you can take a look at this Kindly, you can see that neatly done. If I zoom this side, you can see that we are now in SketchUp. You can see our stays here have bolts in place, nothing has been interfered with. Now, we want just to do one thing we want just to play to, to define the floor level of our structure here. Let me just zoom out. And remember, our, our, our model is slightly bigger. It's, it, it's, it is demanding a lot from our uh, system. Now, I'll come to to this rectangular shape and click on that drop down arrow and pick on rectangular shape and snap right there and zoom out. Once I've zoomed out, I'll, I'll go all the way to this end. I'll just zoom out and target the bottom end of this section here. Let me just bring it close. Let me just bring it close. I'm targeting the bottom end here. Just zoom close so that you see what I'm trying to explain. I'll snap right there. Then come to uh, to select. Then I'll, I'll come to extrude, and I want to extrude this floor this floor up by two hundred. You can check down here. I'll just type two hundred and enter on my keyboard, and uh, that's it. And I'll come to orbit, and I'll turn this round, and you'll be able to see how this looks now. Now I've covered the base plates of our steel and this is what we have 
this is what we have and don't forget to save your work i'll press escape and i'll come to file here and save my work right there and i'll take this to to our desktop and uh, i'll give it workshop a name workshop 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 that's it and give it workshop one and i take it to my desktop for ease of access I'll, to access it easily now i'll click save and it will be saved so in case of any crash or power blackout or anything or in any failure i'll be able to access it from the, the path i've defined i've directed it to so just give it some time to to save our work in sketchup so once it is in sketchup the architectural guy or, or the architectural team will be able to uh, put in whatever they require if they lack anything or, or there is any kind of obstruction that uh, uh, blocks them or uh, makes them unable to do work on some parts it will be taken back to tackle structures and uh, that part be modified for the actual people to work conveniently on this model and the, these are the flaws these are the flaws and remember these flaws can also be extruded in uh, in sketchup now we can we want to slightly do a wall here we want to do a wall i'll come to rectangular here and snap right at the bottom end here and zoom out all the way to this end that end we don't need a wall i think we need a wall there let me just straight and come right here and i'll snap right on that edge and click on uh, select and i want to just extrude this up by eight milli by eight eight sixty eight sixty right there and I'll screw it extrude it up there we are and i'll turn it around the section remaining will remain for ventilation but on, on the part of the offices it will come complete it will, it will be extruded completely up it will be extruded f all the way to the to the eve i'll come here and just do the same thing i'll snap right there and uh, move all the way to the far end of this and uh, just i'll just snap right there and come to select here and i want to extrude the part of just defined so I'll allow this to go all the way to the to that end and leave it right there now if i come this end and turn this round this is what we have Is what we have and we can do the same thing the other end so at this section we'll, we'll we can create a door here by coming on the same same part here and uh, we can define a door here we can define a door here we can give that that's okay as long as it it, it is not clashing with any part just leave it there and come and, and extrude this and extrude that now if i come to if i come to that part you'll be able to see it has been extruded but it has uh, it has gone beyond our uh, our dimensions i'll extrude that and come back to that spot and leave it right there and come to to rotate with orbit orbit rotation and uh, that is our door and we can create windows using the same same approach so this is how it works in in uh, in, uh, in sketchup and this is how it looks this is exactly how it looks 
and we can zoom that close and turn that round and take a look on this end and bring this so close so that we have this we can see all the details as we had seen before in tackle structures let me just make it like that just bring it that close I'll right click and exit and also change you can change the view here you can take it to that you can change the view to that to mo mo monochrome you can take it to that you can also take it to shaded take it to shaded and bring it back now we'll end up uh, on that spot and uh, we will pick up we'll pick this on the next presentation where we will go we'll go that deep uh, to completion of our, of our project and we'll go further into rendering these particular structures don't forget to subscribe if you're new to if you're new to this channel and follow this project to 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 the end of it and uh, actually learn something out of that that will be my happiness if the moment you learn something and if you have a question please just ask down there on the on the comment line i'll be able to respond back to you for now bye bye i'm Maurice dimba and let's meet then thank you